Let's see what happens here. I got somewhere to go. I could just got to do this really, really quick. I can't see any on here. Okay. So. Do I need to send some? Nobody probably got the notifications. I should have did it and waited for a minute. Let me see. Hey, Miss Jackson, you call me girl. What's up with it? I'm happy to see you here. Hey, sister. I say, let me, um, no, you know what? Actually, this is an old wig. I just really keep my wigs up. Yeah, actually, this is an old wig. Hey, you guys. Yep, um, Miss Jackson. And this is the old wig. I just keep really good. So when I don't want to comb my hair, I can just throw it on. Hey, you guys. Hey, Miss Jackson. Hey, Sister Pamela. Hey, um, Miss Valerie. Hey, Miss Praise and Favor. I got I'm with everybody. Plus, I want to um make a few things clear about something. Uh, thank you, Pam. I want to make a few things clear about something. So I was like, let me tap in with my folks. I miss you guys. I'd be enjoying you guys so much. So um, I'll wait for a second. What's up? What you guys been up to? Y'all ready for Valentine's Day? Let me see. So um, I wanted to come on here. I'm just going to get started now. Um, I wanted to come on here. I was going to just drop a video, but I wanted to come on here because I, I want to let, I don't, I don't think they get it. Hey, Didi, Didi, you made it, huh? Welcome to the channel. Hey, Didi said, hey to everybody. That's another person that's with our clique. What? Got Didi in the house. So I wanted to come on here because it's not really bothering me, but I, I want to address it because I noticed that, yeah, I know her finally. And when I, when I, when I, first I was going to drop a video, and then I was like, well, no, nah, let me just go on live and say what I got to say because I know a lot of times, hello, Beverly, straight out of Oakland, California. And so I say, and so a lot of times I be wanting to, uh, so a lot of times I, um, I be wanting to just drop videos whenever I have to address something, but I was like, no, nah, let me go on live because I, I know Miss Jackson missed me the last time. Like, all right, we got Val Valerie watching from where? It's Aplochola? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, Jim, Miss Jackson, wait. What, how do you, is it Apple Chola? Where is it? A Apple Chola? Am I saying it right? I've never heard of that place. F f flat, well, shit, I ain't gonna even lie. I don't know how to put and pronounce it. But welcome to my channel, sweetheart. So, um, I wanted to come on here because I noticed that, um, like I told you guys before, what they doing, what Latrice followers are doing is, they're subscribing to my page, and then what they do is when I don't go on live, they'll unsubscribe, and then they then when I and then they unsubscribe, and then when I go live, they'll subscribe. I guess to get the notification, or whatever, which is fine. I don't have a problem with her followers or her subscribers or her members coming over here. But what I do have a problem with is I noticed that it's a few of them that's very messy. And so if they're listening, yes, a couple of you guys, I blocked you automatically because I during the time that I was watching her, I seen when you guys were in her group and how you was attacking the other members when they say something. And then you constantly just be on it for about 30 minutes and re re used to tell you, okay, it ain't no big deal, sis, let it go. And y'all know. So those that's watching, because I know the, the one girl sent me a, a message on my Gmail talking about I blocked her and, and, and I'm not going to have no followers and that Latrice don't block my subscribers. So I'm letting the ones know that that can't comment and, and not get a notification. Yes, I blocked you because I'm eliminating the messy shit right now. I'm eliminating 
the, the, the shit starting right now because I don't want it over here. So that's why you're being blocked. And that's why I wanted to address it because I didn't block three people already. Because like I said before, I've watched you guys on her page throwing hints at other people starting trouble. And I, I promise you, you're not going to do it over here. Okay. You can voice your opinion all you want. As long as you do it once I've said it before in a respectful way. And you don't be targeting people over here. You don't be bothering people over here. People have a right to voice their opinion. If they say something nice about her. They do. If, if we don't want conversation about something totally different and someone bring her name up, I'm not going to ignore them. I'm going to recognize them and I'm going to let them say what they got to say. And if we get on the conversation about her, we get on the conversation with her because my whole channel is just not about her. So that's why I wanted to come here and let them know, because I know one girl asked me, why did I block her? And I'm going to get to you guys comments in a minute. Uh, and that's why I'm blocking y'all because I already know how messy you are. So keep your ass over there and don't come over here. If any of her subscribers want to come over here and want to watch and they, they, they want to voice their opinion in a respectful way, you're more than welcome. You see something good in her, say it. You see something you don't like, say it. We, we family over here. We don't want that bullshit. So now, with that being said, let me read my folks, my family, my girls who I miss. What? I'm on my way out of town. I got some things to do, y'all, but I had to stop so I can at least address that and let you guys know happy Valentine's Day and see what's up with y'all. So Gorilla Glue Girl, okay, she got her she got her surgery and she got a dip for free. And she became famous. She's on Wendy Williams. They had her mom on Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams uh was uh throwing shade at her, and her mom sent Wendy Williams a letter telling her to back up off her daughter. And Wendy Williams read it, baby. So and they say she done made about 20000 already uh, on her Go, GoFundMe account. But they say she's out of the hospital and she's doing okay. They was able to get all the stuff out of her hair. Some doctor in Guano or something like that. So let me read some of the comments. Okay, Miss Jackson, chill. Somebody got sick from me. No way. What? Wait a minute. Hold on. Welcome to all. Yes, welcome everybody. I sent a video to that email you posted. Okay, baby, I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it um tomorrow when I get back. Um, uh, hi Pam. Okay, uh, Valerie, no. Who Valerie? No, to who? Somebody got sick from the seasoning. Hi. Okay, if they're watching good, don't come on this channel. We don't come over here with it. Don't come over here with it. And then say. Um, I don't know who doing your descriptions and writing your uh, your title or your video, but you didn't do no video on what you said. You say Latrice called you, so why you didn't say what she said? I, man, I went ghetto. I'm like, I want to go, bitch check. But I was like, you know what? I already knew who she was, and I already she's one of the main ones that's messy over there. Block quick. I don't want to hear that. Whatever my titles are, if it ain't about that, why is you so worried about what she texts and said? So, okay, so let me go. If they're good, don't come on this channel with the mess. I agree with you. Hi, Val. We are family. That's right. We family. We family. We made her do that. What made her do? What she said that she had um, some stuff that holds your hair together, and she ran out of it. And so she went to look for something and she seen this glue and she said she wasn't thinking all she was thinking about was just trying to get her hair to lay down and when she put it on there it laid down or whatever but then the next day <laughs> it ain't funny you guys but the next day it was like she, it was you know when you go to sleep your hair frizz up or move or her shit didn't do nothing like it was like you seen it it was the same way you seen it when she woke up, so she said she like tapped it, like trying to move it with her hands, and she couldn't. So she said she was like, "Oh, what have I done?" And she read it, and it said it was not for, um, it wasn't for you know the hair or whatever. You're not supposed to put it on your body or whatever. And so she said she tried to wash it, she couldn't. But what I understand is why did she go for two whole weeks? She said her hair had been like that for two whole weeks, and she had tried everything. From washing it to that, yeah, that is crazy. But you know what I'm wondering? If she did that for attention. You know, some people want attention so bad to their, and it works. 
They want to get out there and they want to get famous and they'll do whatever it takes to get out there because now she's famous. Yeah, that was slick. Now she's famous. They call her the glue girl. You know what I mean? Rappers then weighed in on her and everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wishing her well or whatever. But she's famous now, you know. And so, um, it said that's the reason why I said no. You said, oh, I said it wrong. I'm sorry, baby. I'm trying to. <laughs> I really can't pronounce it. Where is that located at? Hello, lady. I'm just seeing your video. Love your hair. Oh, thank you, Miss Smith. It's a wig. My hair is so long, it's a wig, and I had to try to roll that shit up and tuck it. It took me like five minutes to try to tuck it because I don't like to wear the uh, the stocking because the stocking, I don't like the way it be around here. And remember, I had that sinus infection. I'm finally doing better. Everything that finally broke up here, and so I didn't want to wear the stocking, so I had to try to figure out how to just tuck it. Yes, she probably did it on purpose. Yeah, the, the, I'm telling you, because why would you buy something? It says Gorilla Glue, and you've never used it before, so why didn't you read the label? Like, I truly believe she did that just so she can get out there. And it worked, like I said before. She's been on talk shows. She's been on, on comedian shows, late-night comedian shows. Her do was good for her do was it good for a lifetime. Yes, it was. So she went into surgery, and I think it took 10 hours. No, wait, I think it took five hours. I'm, I'm not for sure, but I know they say the procedure usually takes 10 hours, but he was so good till it only took like five hours or something. Yeah, it is. That, that's what I said. It's about the money. That's why she did it. And she got, she had 20000 where she was this morning. She probably had more by now. Oh, around Tallahassee. Oh, okay. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. Welcome to my channel, Miss Joseph. Who else on here? Hey, Miss Extravaganza. What's going on, girl? So, so okay, so somebody got sick from her seasoning. But what I just want to say this right quick. I know I truly don't understand how is she selling it without FDA approval. I thought with with food and seasoning, you had to get them to approve that stuff. How is, I mean, and she actually then took the picture with the, with the kids and all that stuff. So how, how is, how is this happening? And, and nobody's, you know, uh, uh, saying anything about it. That's what I, that's, that, that's the thing I don't, that's the thing that I don't understand about it. So yeah, you guys, so I want to come on here and, uh, and, and wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day. And I wanted to address that. Like I said, I was going to drop a video, but then I was like, no, nah, because I don't come on here that, you know, like I should be coming on here. So I know a lot of y'all be trying to catch me. And when I be on here, y'all be missing me and I'd just be getting off or whatever. So I said, at least let me come on here for 20 or 30 minutes and interact with you guys and see what's up with you guys. Make sure everybody's okay. You're welcome. And it still looks good. And it go with your beautiful smile. Oh, thank you. Smiling. Yes, she did it for fame to try to get rich. Why Why do you talk so loud? I don't know. If it's bothering you, turn your volume down. So anyway, you guys. So, um, yeah, so that's why I wanted to come on here, you guys, and see y'all. So everybody been good, huh? Happy Valentine's Day to you too, Pam. Thank you, sister. I love you. That's my girl. That's my girl. Yeah, so uh, first of all, let me just address her. The reason why I talk loud is because I'm not used to being on a computer doing lives. And once I start getting a little more comfortable with it, because in my, my mind, you guys can't hear me in my mind. So as time go by, I'm pretty sure my volume will calm down because I can't hear myself. That's why, just so you know. Because it wasn't a rude question. You asked the question, and so I'm just letting you know that's why. So once time once time go by and I get used to these lives and stuff, my 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 voice will go down. But I'm just loud anyway, though. Yeah, and then my sign my sinuses is messed all up too. Well, it's better now. Yeah, but it's just now getting better. So I still have like shit going on up here, but I think it's then broke. Hey, Miss Thompson. Hey, sweetheart, you do see mixing all different seasons out of her kitchen shelf. Yeah, and that's the thing. Look, y'all, 
She don't want nobody to know the ingredients, but she says she put it on the bottle. Well, if you put it on the bottle, why you don't want nobody seeing you make it and what what the actually sitting there? What she said is because it's one ingredient that she says she don't say what's up in there. Well, that one ingredient could be the, the ingredient that's making people sick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I mean, she's worried about somebody stealing her her recipe. Why are you worried about that? I mean, if you confident in your stuff, but remember, once again, the way she says she want to help people and all that stuff, if somebody was to copy her recipe, big deal. So why did they copy it? I mean, you got people that buy from you. If they wind up getting people that bought from them, Look, you have somebody to make some some money, especially during this pandemic, because people need to make all the money they can. So why not help somebody with some ideas? And that's another thing. Since people are so worried about me saying all this stuff about her and interacting with my followers on my page, won't they get a page and make it and start saying what they like about her and what they don't like about her? I don't understand how people can complain about somebody doing something when they can they can do something the same way and just reverse it. Start a page and talk about all the things that you enjoy about her and that you like about her. And keep blowing smoke up her ass and making her feel good and going and make you some money. Because I don't get do some cool people like Pam, Miss Jackson, uh, Cassandra, uh, 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 my girl from um, Milwaukee, some really cool people. And from that point on, I was like, well, shit, I'm just going to keep dropping some videos and talking to everybody because I see. It's people out here that really, really see what I see with her. I don't always say it's bad in her. I said in my videos at the beginning, I don't see what goes on behind closed doors. But in front of the camera, I said I like the way I, I have seen her treat her kids. I have never seen her beat them. I have never seen her uh, be mean to them, yanking on them and, and talking shit to them and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, I mean, what more, you know. What more people want me to say? Yes, yes, ma'am, you can say that again. Her season is nasty, just like her attitude. I promise you, I threw it away. Oh, you, oh, hey, Miss Hampton, oh, you bought some of it? Hey, Jack, hey, Miss Thompson, I think she bought the season they sell to make. <laughs> to make. Yes, ma'am, you can say that again. Valerie, I believe so. Yeah, you know, it's all about the dollar, y'all. It's, you know, it's all about the dollar. But at, once again, it, you know, she doing what she doing and people love it, you know. And so she, um, what you, I ain't going to say no name, but they was like, she is starting to come back on YouTube because, you know, after so long, if you're not dropping videos on YouTube, they'll stop paying you. Like, you got to be active with YouTube. And they said that that's why she's starting to come back on there like she is because of the money. She's missing the money from her, from her, um, from her, from her. Yes. Trying to support my own people. It was a big mistake. Right. See, trying to, they say she's missing that money from the, um, donations. And then you have to be consistent with you too. And she was up there. So when she don't come, I guess for six days and weeks at a time, I guess they probably sent her some type of message or letter what i don't know how they do it letting you know hey you know your 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 views is going down and so you're not making as much money but she says she make more money on facebook than she do youtube so um so yeah you guys so anyway so everybody been good huh i just woke up now i got to catch up with everybody you talking about yes yeah, so uh welcome to my channel miss hope so yeah, you guys. So yeah, so the glue girl, her hair, she's back. So let's hope that she don't do nothing else to get attention. So yeah, you guys. So that's what I want to do. I wanted to make sure I came on here and like I said, I was gonna do it in a video, but then I was like, no, let me go on live so I can see my sisters. That's thank you, Miss Hope. That that man, I got major love for, and I got y'all all wrote down. I know the ones that's been with me from day one. And I said, let me go on here and talk to you guys because I got, I'm going somewhere. I'm going out of town. I'm going to get ready to drive out of town. And so I wanted to talk to you guys and uh, me and my husband and my daughter. And so I wanted to talk to you guys and tap in with you guys and also let them know to keep their messy butts over here. Don't come over here. 
Do not come over here because it ain't finna happen. You're not finna come over here bothering nobody on my channel. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So I already knew a few of them and it had nothing to do with dealing with her. It, I had already knew a few of them that I watched. As soon as somebody say something, well, uh, what do you mean by that? Well, I was just saying this and then Riri would tell them, Okay, sis, it's good. We ain't we ain't tripping off of what you Yeah, but I'm just saying, and they just kept going on and on and on and on. So now they send me a message talking about she blocked them because she made a statement. She made a statement to Trees and Trees blocked her, I think, last night or night before last. And she was like, she ran across my page and she was like, I'm so glad to see you. But what I don't understand is whoever is doing your titles or your videos. You you said that she she texted you or she called you and you was gonna say what she said. What did she say? I'm like this bitch, this bitch already messy and now she come asking me about my titles on my videos. Who the hell she thinks she is? Yeah, let me get rid of her right now. So I got rid of her ass and I blocked her ass. Um. Oh, okay. Positive vibes. Thanks. Um. Yeah, we got dumped with heavy snow in Kansas and it's forty degrees. Are you in Kansas? Really? Oh, you out there with all that snow wheels? Did you guys see? Wait a minute, hold on. Hey, Miss William, welcome to my channel. I will, sweetheart, Miss Joseph. Did you guys see? I'm actually going in my RV. We're going in my RV. Did you guys see where in Texas they had that wreck, that big rig come going on that freeway and hit them people? Did you guys see that? That was crazy. Just think, you're in your car on the freeway, just listening to music, trying to get where you're going. You ain't thinking nothing like that going to happen. And all of a sudden, a big-ass rig just come from behind. That man was going so fast. I don't know if it was man or woman, but I'm assuming it's a man. And did you see Miss Ward, how did he hit it? And all them other rigs just started wrecking and... Oh my God, I'm not going to lie, I had tears in my eyes. I had tears in my eyes because I be on the freeway a lot because I live in the country. So when I get on the freeway, and I told you guys, there'd be trucks everywhere. Like, And it was just so sad. But see, we have a lot of highway patrolmen on my road too, though. Like, they be on it. But it was just... No! Oh my God! And I know they say six was dead so far, right? Have, do we have any more deaths? Yes, that was crazy. Man, that was crazy. That was so sad. And it was one guy, parents came to uh, check on him. They finally got him on the out of the car. He had his bag, and he was walking like ain't nothing ever happening. That ain't nothing but guy. He didn't get no ambulance or nothing. He went home with his mama. Yeah, I am, sis. I'm going to be careful. All right, we got Miss uh, Naya Williams. I remember you, Naya. You came on here before, straight out of San Francisco. Shout out to San Francisco. So I love you guys. So you're right, DD, six days so far. So I love you guys. I truly love you guys. I want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day. For those that have someone uh, to love on Valentine's Day, God bless you. For those that's just by yourself, God bless you. Always remember, you're never alone. You got God by your side. You don't always need no man on Valentine's Day. Yes, it does feel good sometimes, but you ain't missing nothing. I love my husband to death. We have our ups and downs, but at the end of the day, I just thank God for just being able to be me and to be in this world. You don't always need no man. You got God, and that's all you need right there. I know sometimes it gets lonely for those that don't have nobody on Valentine's Day, but call your kids. It ain't always got to be a man. Valentine's Day could be for your children, your mom, your dad. It ain't always got to be for a man. Call your mom or your dad and tell them you love them. And tell them happy Valentine's Day. So if you're out there sad on Valentine's Day, don't be sad. It's going to be all right. God do things for a reason. You might have had somebody in your life that was abusing you or, or, or stealing from you or something like that. So just roll with it and go on and stay happy and be happy. Thank you, Miss Thompson. Uh, hey, Sylvia. Hey, shout to Baltimore. Shout out to Baltimore. We got Sylvia Commander in the house. 
Yeah, you guys. So that's why I want to come on here. I love you guys. I'm going to have to get on off of here because I got to finish doing. I got to do uh, pick up some things from here so I can head on back down and I can uh, we can get this shit in this RV so we can head on off. Yeah, you guys, keep your notifications on because what I'm gonna try to do is um I'm gonna try to come on Valentine's Day night. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it um right now. And me and my sister Pam, we're gonna start because remember I told you guys I got I, I know rappers and stuff like that. I got I don't know YouTube yet. Remember you guys, as you guys are on here learning, everybody that's rocking with me, we're learning together. So I don't know how to do all that stuff because I want to even bring them on here and do some interviews. My nephew, Mozzie, like I I got, you know what I'm saying? I may bring my baby on here, my son on here at some point. I got my nephew out of Alabama, Chopper Boy. So he's a rapper. So it's a lot of things I want to do with my page now that it's up and going. Want to play some games on here. You guys win some things, win a gift card, a purse or something. So we going to get it together, you guys. You guys just hang in there with me. I'm just trying to learn the ins and outs of this. I told you once before, it is not about the money. Trust and believe that it's not about the money. I told you in my video when I first dropped the videos, if this thing ever was to blow half of that money, I would take it every week, find five people until I get to everybody that's been with me from day one and give them $300 here, $300 there. That's how much I don't need their money. So... You guys, I love you guys. Me and my sister Pam Pam, we got to get together. I got to send you that number so we can start getting together and start doing some fun things on here. And at the same time, I want to start finding out how do I put them on here to do talk, do interviews with them. You guys maybe can interact with them, ask some questions. They're rappers and things like that. So it's a lot of walkthrough of everything. I post a video for my, on there too so you guys can see it. But I love you guys. Tierra, where you come from? I didn't even see you. Where you come from, boo-boo? You just snuck in here. We got Tierra in the house. Hey, Tierra. I got a cousin named Tierra. Where you come from, girl? You just snuck in here. Like Johnny just snuck his ass in, the, in there drinking that bow and that. <laughs> drinking that bow and that. <laughs> that. That's a whole nother thing, though. But I love you guys. Diddy, you stay, you stay leaving comments. All you guys stay leaving positive comments and enjoying the shit. And I just love you guys so much. And I just thank you guys and God bless you guys. You guys put your notifications on. We and and Diddy, you guys, if y'all got some some um some um like some what is um some suggestions or whatever, you got the, the Gmail address, send me DD. And Pam, send me uh, um, send me some suggestions. I'll take them in, you know, take them into account and think about it, and see what we could do to to have some fun on this uh on this channel. I love you too. I love you too. Thank you, uh, Miss Thompson. Bye, Miss Joseph. Bye. I know, girl. That's what I said. That's not good. <laughs> I got some more shit up though. I got some more stuff up though. I got some more stuff up though, but I love you guys. I'm gonna get on off. <laughs> hey, yeah, he heard his mom in there making love between the sheets, Diddy. <laughs> my sis, my sis said, "You guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you, praise and favor. You too, sweetheart." My my sister D, D uh, uh, Pamela said, "Don't get the bell." Did he say he's trying to be a dope boy? <laughs> she about ready to tear his ass up too. I love you guys so much. I'll be having so much fun when I reread you guys' comments. I love you guys. You guys stay blessed, stay safe, stay social distance. You guys know the yeah, y'all know the deal. Y'all know the deal. And I'm going to get off of here, you guys. But I'll see you guys Valentine's Day night. So make sure you guys' notifications is on. Love y'all. See you.